Welcome back everyone, this is Ultra Lavos. We just got through rummaging through the kitchen. So let's head on back to the dining room and back to the game room. Actually, let's move... Is it down? Yeah. We're gonna move back to the main hall it's time to cut some stuff. We're gonna use our knife and see what this hard thing was in this chair. Oh, it's a key. Why do they always hide keys and couches? Okay, and let's uh, take this key to open. Lots of things. First place we're gonna go is upstairs. Remember this room? With the locked cabinet? Let's hope this key works here. It did. And what do we have hidden in here? Another box. It's been shrink wrapped. And generating heat. I hope the star is in there. Let's open it. Let's open it. I want that star. We gotta open it. Oh, it won't open. Okay, let's see what this is. Okay, rolled up and sealed with wax, and a dark liquid in that one. Go ahead and open this bottle. We'll open the scroll. The heart of the garden maze contains the Blarney Stone, and it brings a tear to me. Uh, sorry, the Blothney Gem. It is guarded by he who moves as the moon. Alright. Gold, silver, and mercury. Together they form a key. I wonder if that will be important. And we can't open that box. So let's take this in case it comes in handy. And we'll also take this bottle because we're going to drink all this stuff at some point. Just because. You see strange liquids in an adventure game, you have to drink them. Did I take the box? I hope I took the box. I took the bottle. And the scroll. I left the box there. How silly of me. Definitely want that box. Let's try to burn it. Can we just uh, set it on fire with the matches? I guess we can try. Use the matches. What am I going to set on fire? There's so many things. But for now, let's just try to set this on fire. Oh, it's too weak. Well, that's a shame. I wonder if I can set this rug on fire that seems out of place. I don't know if I've ever tried this. I know I use torches in Shadowgate on, like, anything flammable, but... Nah. Uh, it doesn't let you be a pyromaniac in this. But there was this wood in this fire, so... Let's use the matches on it and see if we get a, uh, Nice fire going if we can throw the box in there. Use the box on the fire! Look at that puff of smoke! Such cutting edge graphics. And there's a star. Let's see what this looks like. Fire and ice. Oh, it's a really cool puzzle game on the Nintendo. Nope, it's just a star. Dang it. Now where do we need to go? I believe here. Oh yes. Because now we can open this that was locked. And there's a Jip doll. Which I'm guessing is short for Gypsy doll. Looks like a fortune teller. Almost think it's alive. Well let's take it. 
And then let's play a little Duran Duran for, I mean, do the doll doll. Shouting doll doll as loudly as possible. I would just seem like a crazy person to anyone that walked by at that moment, I'm sure. And now the doll is talking to me. You have a pious brother. And I need to tell him O oh, Sesame, which I'm going to assume is short for Open Sesame. Alright, so now we learned a new spell. I guess we're going to go through here. And outside. Hey, there's a bird. Looks a lot like those birds that were trying to drop stuff on me in the Adams family. There's a church. Something moving in the trees behind the building. There's a greenhouse. And a dome-shaped building. Well, I guess let's go this way first. Check out the church. Oh, no. Who needs a two- or three-headed dog when you can have two one-headed dogs, right? Right. Um... Why did it have to be dogs? Yeah, at least it's not snakes, right? Let's, let's look at them. Alright, so they're going to turn me into dog food. Well, let's, uh... Maybe we can use our mop on them and clean them up. Now, let's try to take an axe to them. That was not a good idea. Yep, that seems like a bad thing to do. But what big eyes you have. Alright, well, let's move back to the church. The art on those dogs just look weird to me for some reason. Alright, so what we want to do here is remember the uh, spell. When the path is barred with more than one, the storm to come to make them run. Well, our path is barred by more than one dog. So let's uh, yell Thundidi. Yeah. And then a storm comes and they run off, scared with their tail between their legs. Sounds good to me. I do. I feel their presence. The music changed. I like the music in here. A heavy stone bust displays a look of pious. Hey, pious. That, is that your pious brother? The stone faced dude? Oh, yeah? What do we have here? And I'm pretty sure in the original version of this, this was a cross, but, you know, censorship. this celestial water in there a door but it won't open no keyhole all right so what should we do well I guess let's take this might as well take some candles take a goblet oh a secret passageway Let's go. I don't? No, it's bigger than a bread box. That's not that big. Is it bad news? I don't know. I, I think maybe there's treasure and you're just trying to keep me away from it. Yeah, sure, there's a giant spider. Sure, uh, there's a giant spider. Well, what do you know? It's a giant spider. It crushes your tiny body and its large, powerful jaws. I love the way the game says that. Just, oh, well, what do you know? So there really was. There was no treasure. Well, I guess we will have to say our magic words here to the pious brother of the weird doll doll. 
open sesame. Or oh sesame. Let the door be open to this poor strayed lamb. But he must not travel in darkness. Huh. What do you mean, must not travel in darkness? Is that a clue? Hey, we made it to the back. Ooh, there's a maze and some creepy apparition. Okay, what do I need to use on him? Wait a minute, he just killed me? He's just ripping me apart. Well, maybe I need something to light the way, like he said. How clever of you. Let's use our matches on that giant candle. Oh, there's a few things I want to set on fire. But for now, the candles will do. They will suffice. Okay, now let's try going outside. And it's back. It's still here. Oh, but he's flying away. He's offended by my flames. Alright, let's uh, see what's down here. It seems like we're in a maze. This is where we're going to leave off for now. Next time we're going to travel through this maze and hopefully find some kind of treasure. This is Ultralavos playing Uninvited. See you all next time.